Hello everybody, I'm my, my, my name is Dabby Dude Dabby 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 Oh jeez man. Oh man, the sleepiness is getting me. I'm sorry. Anyway. Hello everybody, my name is Barry B. A Bearcat. Stranded in space. <sighs> and we're back with Find Love or Die Trying. A vision novel with a twist. And we are continuing where we left off with our wonderful big date with Violet. I mean, she's really growing on me, but then again, that old Joe type of archetype, I've always had a soft spot for that. Especially if it's written well, at least she's not Sundari and beating the shit out of me. Anyway, let's continue. I walked down the... No, no, I walk. I walk down to the kitchen where the girls were having breakfast. I don't know why I'm singing, but they all look fantastic. Hey. Right. So, how was the date? Yeah, tell us. Tara was fiercely scribbling down notes with the title "War Plans" in bold. It was. Really quite nice. Oh shit, I'm scared of- I'm scared of her! We actually made- We actually made this cake and the cookies yesterday together, Barry and I. I, I hope you all enjoy it. They're amazing, Violet. Thanks for making it for us. Thanks so much. They're so delicious. Scri Tara scribbled. War of attrition is likely not an option. What are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. So how come there's cookie batter everywhere? No matter where I look, I see batter on the surface of the kitchen. I thought we cleaned it. Well, I guess I'm not well enough. It wasn't just the batter. Violet and I had knocked over quite a few things in our firefight. Ah, uh, that's... You sure it was just? Are you sh wait, You sure it was just baking together? Oh, I thought it was. Oh, I thought it was more than more than that. I charaded as if it was if I was heartbroken. I gotta hand it to you, Violet. I didn't think you had it in you. Hubba hubba. Wait, no, nothing like that happened. Ellie and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. I don't get it. That's because you're a good person, Yui. I think what Allie is trying to say that Violet and Barry... Allie stuffed a cookie into Scarlet's mouth before she could finish her sentence. <laughs> wow, these cookies are pretty useful. You gotta teach me how to make these sometime, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Allie. Mmm. <laughs> what should Barry want? Should Barry have all the good stuff? Hmm. Ah. We spent the rest of the morning fooling around in the kitchen. Mm hmm. Ugh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud. My head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. At least I had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she just when she did just that. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly, you're still alive, Barry. So it's all good. Believe me. You'd drink too if you'd work here. If you work here. Worked here. Just look at the five brothers. The brothers five. Wait. Working at Futuristic Evil Corp. I, my brain is having a fart moment. Hold on. Whew. Working at Futurist, Futuristic Evil Corporation. Trademarks has to come with some benefits, right? Oh, my eye. Woo. 
think that we still have to pay our for our de- you'd think but still we have to pay for our dental out of pocket <clears throat> before i forget what this show's all about today today is the day you go on a date with who's your other soulmate candidate again yui how much did you drink last night cat Whatever, I knew that. Just testing you, duh. Right. All right, let's get this second date with you started. Woo! Whoa! Someone tell the world to stop spinning like a like a little bitch. I'm pretty much fucked, huh? I can see Yui waving at me from the top of the hill. Hey there, Barry. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Yui. You want to show me something? Now that I was closer, I could see Yui was holding one hand behind her back. Believe me, it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Behold! A nut- Okay. (laughs) A bunny! It was indeed a bunny. Where did this little guy come from? To be honest, I've got no idea. I wonder if he's a wild one or maybe somebody's pet. I've asked around, but it doesn't look like he belongs to anybody. So I, I've i been taking care of him ever since I found him. I couldn't help myself, you know. His smile was an earnest. As earnest as it could be. Didn't you, have a pet, didn't you have a pet bunny back home? I had two. Bun and Bun Bun. Both of them are total rascals, but Bun Bun Bun... Here is a good boy, aren't you? She nuzzles against Bun Bun Bun's head. Oh my god. Yes, you are. No, 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 you. <laughs> that was fucking cringe. All right. We played with, we played with the bunny for a little while. She picked up the bunny and held it in her arms. Bun 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 looked quite content. You know, you're pretty amazing with animals, Yui. I've been surrounded by animals all my, by animals my whole life. Back at home, well, to be honest, it was more more of a barn than anything. Since my sisters were too young and my grandma was getting up there, I'd take care of all the animals. Grandma's taking care of them ever since they were born. My parents were supposed to take care of them after grandma retired, but well, you know, life happens. I'm glad, I'm just glad to have what I have. <sighs> My ass tea. My ice tea. There you go. Ah. Bun 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 managed to squeeze out of her hands and ran off. We gotta catch him. Let's go. On it. I ran fast, as fast as I could after Bun Bun. Dude, it's a rabbit. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna be fucking fast. It was no use. The distance kept widening. For long, we couldn't see him anymore. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't catch him. He's really fast for something so small. Because he's a rabbit, you idiot! Anyway. I don't worry about it. Bun 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 likes to do this all the time. He's a bit mischievous. But he wouldn't do anything dangerous. We can take our time looking for him. If you're willing to help. Of course, Huey. We started walking towards where... And last saw Bun Bun Bun, right after we caught our breath again. Gosh, isn't it nice to be outside? Smell of fresh air, breeze. Nothing like it. It really isn't. I smiled. At first, I was really excited to go to the city. So many people, so many things to do, so many beautiful things. Most of all, I, most of all, I got to meet you. Shucks, <laughs> who the fuck is this shucks? Alright. Chucks, you're gonna make me blush. He smiled and touched my arm. Even so, the ch- the chibber chibber chibber. Even so, the, c- the city's nothing, just not my thing. It's a little bit funny, though. The reason I had come home all of a sudden was terrible. I. Little Barbie was glad to be home. Ever had that kind of feeling before? I have. 
strange. But sometimes there's good and the bad, and sometimes that good can outweigh the bad. Exactly, you get it, Barry. My family's never been closer. That's all I want. They told me. I know. They told me to make lots of money in the city, make something of myself, and all that. It might seem old fashioned, but I just want to put the people I love first. That's all I've got in life, really. I'm curious. What do you put first in life? Happiness. If you don't have that, what do you have? Oh, is that so? I think we'd make a great team then. We talked for several hours about what we wanted out of life. We seemed to match up perfectly. I was beaming the whole time. Careful. It's hard to believe that it's Bun Bun Bun. He pointed in front of us. Sure enough, there was Bun 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 chomping on a bush. Oh shit. I've never seen anyone move so fast. He descended on Bun 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 like a like a hawk and grabbed him in an instant. You are going back to your den, you little bad bunny. Bad little bunny. Mm. But I'm happy you're safe. She snuzzled. snuzzled. Well, close enough. She snuzzled. I know that doesn't what it says. Her face against the... Okay. She nuzzled her face against his fur. Bun 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 was practically purring with delight. And she looked at... Then she looked right at me. I can't promise to give you the most exciting life. With the most twists and turns around every corner. But I can promise that if you choose me, I'd always be by your side no matter what. Wherever you were, you were. I'd come in. I'd come running always. She took a step towards me and kissed my cheek. We locked eyes, and for that time, all I could see was her. And how beautiful she was. Bun 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 seemed to be a little more. Just seemed to be a bit jealous after that. Thanks again. Thanks again for the help, Barry. Me and you made this all a lot faster and made it really special to me. Anytime, Yui. I'm happy to. We'd walk together, back together and to the mansion holding hands and smiling all the while. Ugh. Just, ugh. I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. There's a sidewalk to the kitchen over the fridge. Turns out, there were some leftover cookies that Violet and I made together. I grabbed a few and wolfed them down. Delicious. Huh? Got a case of the midnight munchies? I'd figure I'd do more civic duty and help finish the cookies. Violet and I made. Right. Only a good Samaritan would finish all the cookies. So no one else would have to make that sacrifice. I'm just too good of a person. I know. It gets me in trouble sometimes. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd you... How'd your date with Yui go today? It felt like it was out of a fairy tale. You know, I spent the whole day just talking in the na taking in the nature, talking about home and family. She's totally wife material. Isn't she? You is amazing. I know, before the show even started, she was my personal favorite. I can see why. She's got such a big heart. I'm in awe of her. I really love that about her. That she could be so kind and thoughtful, even when life gives her a losing hand. Yui's really one of one of a kind, especially nowadays. If you don't get the chance to be engaged to her by the end of the show, good luck ever getting a chance to. I got a feeling that she has a long, long line of people wanting to date her after the show. They'll have to get through me first. Oh, they will. Anyway, you're probably safe for, the, for at least another day, thanks to the ongoing rivalry between 
Violet and Yui, I don't see it quite yet. The stakes are rising and so are precious ratings. So without further ado, it's time to pass. It's time for phase three. You've only got one day left with each of them before the final day. So make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. Will do. All right. Good. Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. And you better rest up for tomorrow. You only get... What? Hold on. Ooh, let me read that. You only get one first third date with a girl, right? Sounds good to me, cat. See you later, Barry. Night, cat. So, wait. I can only choose one for the last third date. I think. Uh, I, mean, I think I misread that, but... Ugh. And th thanks for the help. I realized I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some straight eye. Alright. We're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. I told you the staff would inspect, wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's stupid enough to try to escape till now. Maybe people should have been a little bit more stupid a little sooner. Easier said than done. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest. Come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. Truth was not far from it. Okay, I can see the pier now. And the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She always put, put on her bravest face when she was afraid. We're going to make it, right? Of course. The boat's just a little further, and no one, no one's on our tail. I can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally, finally going to leave Barry. About time, if you ask me. I've dreamed of this moment every, every day since. Who knows how long we've been trapped here by now? I never thought I could escape till I got to know you. I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. It was your idea. Your daddy, dear. It was your idea. Find any other sane person, and they would have told you the same things. Sane people didn't try to escape with me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if I if it weren't for you. <coughs> she laughed. That was that was my favorite sound. Let's get back to the mat to matter at matters at hand. We both know. Know that this is where the rubber meet meets the road. Yeah. Now it's just a mad dash to the finish. You ready to run? No. I'm kidding, let's go. <laughs> that favorite sound of mine once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. <gasps> huh. You've got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding. My goodness. You really said that? Yeah. And he was all like, Whoa, what the hell is that? A, fl a flash of white raced through the kitchen, sending the girls into a frenzy. What the hell is that? Coming through, sorry. It's he practically bulldozed through the other girls in the kitchen. What's going on? I take it back. Bun Bun is a bad boy. He seems so well behaved. I thought he'd I let him outside again and Bun Bun from Bun Bun effortlessly swerved past Yui under Violet and left him to the alley. What? There goes her hat. Bun Bun somehow made his way up her head and took her cap in his mouth. Hey, give that back! Bun 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 seemed to sneer at oh, sneer at Alley, then leapt away and ran off. Get back here! Allie started chasing Bun Bun with all that she had, but somehow she always stayed one step ahead. He he stayed one step ahead of her. This looks like a job for me. I'm going to need a Venus flytrap and a few bottles of Bun Bun left onto Scarlet. Oh, get it off! It is quite humorous. It, it, it is quite humorous that a mere bunny has eluded all of you for this long. You think you could catch it? Why, of course. 
Watch, a master at Bun Bun left into Violet's face. Ah, get this Valkyrie off me. Bun Bun sneered with contempt. Someone do something. At that moment, I realized that Terra was recording Violet's struggles. I'm helping. In just a second. Bun Bun left off, leapt off of Violet onto the kitchen floor and ran out. Give me back. Give me my cat back. I do suppose the nice rabbit stew is is on for lunch today. Hmm. I guess that I should help too. You up to help Barry? Honestly, why not? Time for round two. Now quick, before he gets too far. I'm right behind you. We spent the rest of the morning trying to catch Bun Bun. Emphasis on trying. That bunny is on something. I'm calling it now. We finally managed to catch him by baiting him with some food Violet reluctantly made, and even then, he didn't even make it easy. Let's hope the rest of the day is a little bit more relaxed. Mm. Morning, Barry. Time sure flies, huh? The show is almost over, and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if that's going to be any less headaches, though. Who knows? At least, as strange as it sounds, I've had fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I didn't mention that other people would be killed in your position. On second thought, they they definitely haven't thought it through enough. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick who you'll go on your first third date with. Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate today? Violet. You didn't let me down, Barry. I had my doubts with Violet at first, but now I can see why she's the audience favorite. Don't mess it up. Wouldn't dream of it. Hmm. <sighs> I found Violet in the same place I met her. She was taking out a fresh batch of cookies from the oven. Morning, Violet. I slid next to her and grabbed one cookie, one of the cookies, in one smooth motion. Ow, hot! I flung the cookie in front of my mouth for anywhere. Where's the paint? Damn it, we're torture. Wait a minute, you silly goose. You never fail to make me laugh, Barry. I quite admire that. I did a mocking bow with my arms behind my back and put my best fancy accent. The pleasure is all mine, milady. Stop you. I wolfed down another cookie. Hell yeah. You do know those are for sharing with everyone, right? I'm part of everyone. What's the problem here? We laughed together at the bit that we were performing. That reminds me, Barry. What's Violet? It's come to my attention that this show is this show will be ending quite soon. Yeah, it is. A oh, true heart, please. I don't intend to feel sorry for myself. Instead, I want to use the time we have left to do something I've always longed to do. And what's that? What I want is to go on a date. The kind that normal people go on. And that only I that I've only read about having a picnic, watching a movie at the theater, long walks on the beach, you know, something crazy like a paint night. Paint night. I haven't been on one of those. Be cool. And then you can watch the sunset go down together, and it'd be so romantic. Enthusiasm was adorable. Just practically bouncing around the room like a ping pong ball. I think we can make that happen. Can we now? Which one? Why not all of them? She's got the most beautiful smile. Damn. Really? You've got to be kidding me. You can count on me, Violet. I'll make it happen. Yay! She did a little cheer and dance. Gosh, I couldn't stop smiling. Look at her. That said, I have no idea what to do. 
practice a little bit touch and go. It wouldn't be fair if you figured out everything. Let me handle the picnic. She pulled out a basket from behind her. Care to join me in the lovely outdoors? I wouldn't miss it for the world, Violet. What the hell's that in the corner? Everything else kind of looks all right. We walked outside for a while and then settled on a lovely spot with a nice mix of shade and sunlight for her picnic. The way her silver hair caught the sunlight is enough to make you believe in angels. She was so beautiful. Dig in. I've brought plenty. Please don't hold yourself back. I've got to be the luckiest person alive. Save that talk, talk for after you've tried this. I'm letting you have the first bite. Should I be worried? She smiled as she, as she pop, 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 pop. <laughs> She smiled as she mock pouted. Just kidding. She laughed and smiled as soon as she spoon-fed me a delicious egg roll. Called it. I'm the luckiest person alive. Not just because the food's delicious. Because you're right next to it. You're here, right? But because you're... Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, my brain. But because you're here next to me. Violet. <laughs> Jesus, my brain. Okay, let me, let me reread that again. I can make this sound smoother. Let me go back, so we can redo that. Called it. I'm the luckiest person alive. Not just because the food's delicious, but because you're here next to me, Violet. You've made this week so special. I feel the same way, Barry. And there is more where that came from. You're absolutely right. I got something prepared for just the two of us next. Cat, you owe me one berry. Yeah. We enjoyed the delicious food and conversation of the rest of the afternoon. We walked back to the mansion hand in hand, smiling all the while. Next stop, the only movie theater on the island. I don't know. We, I didn't know we had room like this in the mansion. I'm not surprised. Tara's pretty ter territorial about in this room. From what I've seen and heard. But right now, it's our very own private movie theater. I did a little jazz hands at the TV. Ta-da! Violet clapped as if I'd just put on a performance of a lifetime. I made a dramatic bow, then took a look at what movies we had in store. Let's see. We have rom-coms, fantasy medieval movies, or movies view superhero movies and last but not least a horror movie I'll put a rom-com on from what Violet was saying earlier this would definitely be her favorite we started the movie then we went back and sat next to Violet with my arm around her the story was about a girl who moved to a place called New York to become a writer falls in love with the boy she meets there and eventually she realizes her dream and her love it wasn't anything special, but Violet was thoroughly entranced by the whole movie. Me? I was more entranced by her. After the credits rolled, Violet practically burst into tears. That was the best movie I've ever, I've ever seen in my whole life. My whole life! Then how about... I take a scene you liked from the movie and turn it into a painting. Oh my gosh, you didn't. Just wait right here for a second. Okay. I had no idea where to, to find art supplies, but I knew if there were there was anyone who could, it was Cat. Cat. I think you. I think you know this the sitch. You got some nerve pulling this together at the last minute, but I like that about you. Four set up everything they need for a paint night. 
in the main hall of the mansion. Stat. Oh man, I just finished my shift. Even better, you've got free time for this. And so we started painting on canvases in the main hall. I think I'll paint a picture. Hmm. Ooh, quick save on this one. Hmm. I actually have not come to too many decisions. Hmm. Let's be super sappy. Violin and I watching the movie together. This counts, right? What are you painting, Barry? I'm painting a picture of us watching the movie together. It's the most beautiful scene from the movie, you know? It'd be a shame not to capture it. You are quite the flirt, you know that. But I like that about you. Your smile could melt the coldest heart. So which scene are you painting, Violet? I'm drawing the scene where the girl runs out in the rain to tell the boy that she loves him. It's just so romantic. Where's the fucking notebook? No, wait. No, 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 no. What? I remember. She sighed like a love-struck teenager. I could tell she was putting her whole heart into the painting. She kept... She captured the scene perfectly. As for me, I just say I was more focused on making people that have the right number of heads. I was working from there. An hour or so later, we finished and compared our final works. I think Kremlin Talented Artist mean as much. That was embarrassing. Man, it was worth it. worth it just to see her smile and break into laughter. The laughter were interrupted by a gurgle in her from her stomach. Mother would punish me for sure if she heard me make that sound, but who cares now? Violet was unstoppable at this point. Is it time for dinner? I do believe it is. Volunteered to cook, but she wanted to go back to the restaurant that we went to, went to on our first date, so we did. Apparently, she was trying too hard to be prim and proper back then, and didn't actually get to eat much as much as she wanted. She ate up a storm. Almost literally. Almost. We spent dinner wolfing down delicious food without a care in the world and laughing about scenes in the movie and our little artistry. Artist, artsy adventure. And finally, we went for a long waited walk on the beach. We held hands as we walked along the beach. Along, along the ocean. The ocean waves seemed to play music for us as we skirted by. At times, we talked without end. Other times, we just enjoyed each other's company in warm silence. And warmth and silence. Either way, we were happy as can be. We talk, talked about the past, how the past, the present, and the future were so different than before because of each other. You know, Barry, if you asked me to marry you right now, without a doubt, I'd accept I know it sounds quite crazy to say that in such a short period of time, but I just know. She kissed me passionately with everything she had. And what came next was the perfect ending to our lovely date. Come closer. Ooh, we got we got a smooch. We got a smooch. We got a smooch. We got a smooch, boys. We got a smooch. But more than that. After today's date, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. The night was clear as could be. The light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough to, that I needed to put on more. I found myself fixating on the moon without thinking. Ski <laughs> <laughs> Or whatever the, the meme was about the moon being pretty. I thought I'd find you here. What's that? Just a gut feeling. And the island-wide security system. You doing okay? Yeah, just... I'm just thinking. I can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't feel... real earlier today. Time flies, doesn't it? Sure, Time sure flies, doesn't it? We only got the last third date with Yui tomorrow, and then final ceremony... On the day after. 
Speaking of which, how was your date today? Oh, that was awesome. Being uh, being with Violet makes me feel like we're on top of the world. Somehow, she takes my breath away. With how cool she can be, and then... Same time, makes me laugh like a child alongside her. I had no idea that I'd fall for her so hard after our first meeting, but I couldn't help myself. And now... What I want most is to make her the happiest woman in the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I had my doubts at first, but you two really stole the show. And with good reason, I feel like our viewers got to see a glimpse of what your lives together would be like. Maybe the mess in the kitchen won't be from the dough next time? Hmm. Oh. <sighs> no comment. Who knew that three dates were all you needed to figure out if a marriage would last? If this TV gig doesn't work out, maybe I should become a marriage counselor, hmm? Anyway, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got some work to do. Got some work done tonight. I've got to get some work done today. Prepare for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company. It's not like you were up to anything. Cat reached her hand out to me. I put my hand in her hers in, on instinct. With a smile in, with her hand in mine, she pulled me with her to the library. Look, she's right there. Now you're probably wondering, why did it bring you here of all places? You like to read? Oh yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons. So here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show, building and security details, guard schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's in plain sight as it's regular books. You need to know how to decipher them, though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting. And also a little unnecessary. Here's going to read a book. Oh, I knew the state of education was bad, but not this bad. It still doesn't answer my and it still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Let me see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. It, and it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up in this lovely arrangement to have to fetch each book I need for reference. So, you wanna gra want me to grab every grab your books for you so you can just stay here i'm so glad you understand and you know i'm doing everything i can to keep you alive and this is a teeny tiny favor i couldn't help but laugh but at her mock pout sure cat it's the least i could do great all right to start with i need you to grab me the princess of of aranda 100 easy recipes for a philosopher's stone and I regret everything. Uh, today's episode will be a little longer because I'm just trying to get it to the l next episode. This this part of the playthrough is going to be a little longer. I want to get you out and finish the chapter. We did two. We honestly did two, so we're, we're going to stop soon, but not yet. This must be the hundredth batch of books I've had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed this system should be shot. Tried to read a few of the books I was delivering, but like Kat said, they're just seems, they just seem like regular books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for your help, Barry. I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something. At that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it more as unpaid charity work. You've got one last day tomorrow. Don't mess it up. I'm curious, what's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here? Honestly, I'm not too sure. He tried to find out what my life was about, was before, who knows. That's as good a start as any. Oh, I gotta go back to editing. Nightberry. See you, cat. Guess I'll went back to my room and call him tonight.
The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there was no time to fix it. That's... that's it then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too, Barry. I wish we could have met anywhere else but here. She held me in her arms with the last, last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. Oh, anyway, with that spicy little detail, we shall uh, move on, save, and call it for now. And I will see you all later on my fellow space jockeys. Bye-bye. Thank you.